Hi, my name is Tom Jinguji, and I uh, am a pediatrician that works at Seattle Children's Hospital in the Department of Orthopedics, focusing on musculoskeletal medicine and orthopedic care. I'm a clinical associate professor with the University of Washington Department of Orthopedics and Sports Medicine. Today, I will be demonstrating the rotational profile. The rotational profile helps to diagnose uh, in-towing and out-towing. It's used to both find the location of the in-towing as well as its severity. Very important to, be, to provide reassurance for families and also to guide treatment. For both of these uh, demonstrations, we, I, I would also like you to, to link to other help videos evaluating in-towing in children as well as the one-minute screening examination. So we're going to start with the screening examination. Usually what we like to do is, is take a look at somebody with as much skin exposed as we can, often with the shirt off. Um, Nico, would you be willing to take off your shirt so we can take a look? Okay. Okay. Well, let, let's well let's take a look. So Nico was kind of take off his shirt, and now what we, what we try to do is we just try to get so much can be learned from just looking. What we're gonna do is we're gonna have Nico take a look at us. We're gonna have you point. Actually, for this, just look at the camera. We're gonna look for symmetry of the arms, symmetry of, of leg heights, symmetry in the legs, and put your legs right together, Nico. Stand up as straight as you can, okay? And then often we're gonna turn, we're gonna look at someone's back here. And just make certain that the back looks straight, there's no evidence of scoliosis or other conditions. And this looks very good. Now one thing that we'll often do is have somebody just, I'm gonna scoot you back just a little bit here, Nico. Two steps, and have them bend forward. Go ahead and bend forward for me, Nico. And let your head flop down, fantastic. What I'm looking at is making certain the back looks straight, there's no evidence of, any abnormality, that looks just great. So now, Nico, I'm gonna have you just take a couple steps, walk over on your tippy toes over towards the, over towards the wall. This gives us, again, look at symmetry, making certain that there's good strength. Now turn around, Nico, good job. Walk on your, walk on your heels, just like this, a little bit for me, okay? Fantastic, okay, and just stand right there. That looks great. So we've completed that one minute screening exam. We've had Nico put his shirt back on and now we're really gonna focus much more on the rotational profile. We're gonna start with the foot progression angle. The first part of the rotational profile is looking at the foot progression angle. That's watching a child walk and seeing if his feet point inward or outward. So Nico, why don't you walk towards us slowly? And when you watch Nico walk, you see the right foot points outward to some degree, the left foot points fairly straight. The next part of the rotational profile is performed in the examination room. We'll be checking for femoral antiversion, and we'll also be checking for internal tibial version. This is done prone. The best way to do this in a little child is actually in a knee-to-knee -knee position on mom's lap and my lap. For an older child, the, the best way to do this is, in, is on an examination table. The next step in the rotational profile is to measure hip rotation. Remember that hip rotation should always be symmetric. We're going to measure hip internal rotation by dropping the legs out. Zero degrees would be straight up and 90 degrees would be the feet touching the table. So with the pelvis level, we check Nico and it looks like he has internal rotation to beyond halfway or beyond 45 degrees and I'd say it's about 50 to 55 degrees of hip internal rotation. We measure hip external rotation by crossing the feet. And again, zero straight up and down. 90 degrees would be the, the feet hitting the table in a crossing pattern. And I think Nico has about 40 degrees of hip external rotation. And this is completely normal. And Nico should be fine with this. If Nico had severe femoral antiversion or internal twisting of the femurs, we would see Nico's feet drop almost down to the table or very close to that, which we don't see for Nico. And again, this is normal and fine. The next part of the rotational profile is to look at the thigh foot angle to assess internal or external tibial version or torsion. Looking down at the thighs and the feet, I can draw an imaginary line down the thigh and also down the foot. If there is no rotation at all, the imaginary line between the long axis of the thigh and the long axis of the foot should be collinear or parallel. In internal rotation, we're going to see the foot pointed inward. In external rotation, we're going to see the foot pointed outward to some degree. It is important to just let the feet hang 
in a neutral position, not trying to bend or twist the foot. So looking at the thigh foot angle from an overhead view, we're going to look at the long axis of the thigh and the long axis of the foot, and these should line up fairly straight in a child without any in internal or external tibial rotation. If you had internal rotation, it would look something like this. External rotation would look something like this. We also try to estimate the degrees, and we can look at the right side for that. We, draw, we look at the long axis of the thigh and the long axis of the foot, and there does appear to be external rotation exactly as we saw in the foot progression angle. I would estimate this at about 10 to 15 degrees or so of external rotation, all completely normal and fine for Nico. From the prone position, we can also look at metatarsus adductus, another cause of in-toeing. We look at the lateral border of the foot, and this should be very straight, exactly as Nico's is. If he had metatarsus adductus, we would see the lateral border curved, something like this, which I'm simulating here. As you can see, the rotational profile is a very quick exam. It should provide a great amount of information. Hopefully, it will provide reassurance for families, add credibility that you've done a careful examination, and predict the future in terms of looking for pathology, as well as the natural history and course of in-towing and out-towing.